week here on PRISM. We take a look at pioneers in green energy, and today we're talking to Ditlev Engel. Now, he heads up the world's largest wind power company, Vestas. You know, the renewable energy sector, like many others, has been facing difficulties in the global economic recession. I started by asking him why he thinks there's now a favorable breeze behind the wind power industry. I think uh, it has been a, a very tough ride uh, in the last uh, few years and I think in particular for us uh, at Vestas we are seeing that uh, the orders are, are coming in but of course we are also subject to the uncertainty in the world at the moment but I think due to the fact that we have been globalizing our business in the last few years actually ensures that we are sort of counterbalancing some of the challenges in the world and, and that's very much helping us these days. High oil prices have been with us for some time now. Is that helping to push the demand for alternative energy sources? Well, you know, one of the things, Jim, that I think is quite interesting, if you look at the financial crisis back in 2008, 2009, we saw the oil price going down to $40 per barrel. And even with the challenges in the world at the moment, we haven't really seen the fossil fuel prices change. We haven't really seen people giving up their focus on a new energy agenda. So I think it's, it's a little different scenario we're seeing at the moment, and, and we really hope investors we will be able to capitalize on that. And, and as the IEA have said, the only thing that's going to happen on fossil fuel prices and they're going to continue to go up, the only question is uh, how much and, and how fast. Well, your company has a positive outlook. The markets have responded very positively to it. But you have some co serious competition coming in the form of China. Yeah, you know, we uh, I'm back to globalizing our business. Uh, we have put up uh, eight manufacturing facilities in China the last few years. We employed uh, 3,000 colleagues out there. And again, globalizing our business. And, and, and I think it's also, on the other hand, saying that wind is now becoming mainstream since so many people would like to get involved in it, whether it's in China or from Europe or North America. And I think that's actually underlying the potential of wind. Well, what is making wind so attractive in this market? Well, I think first it's, it's an abundance. Uh, it's for free. And, you know, in Denmark, we have had uh, wind installed over the last uh, 30 years. It constitutes 20% of our electricity consumption, where on a global scale, the same number is 2%. So I think the only thing we know, as I said, is the prices on energy is going to go up. Uh, we are going to be another 2 billion people on the planet, which, again, is going to put pressure on energy costs. And finally, I don't think people should underestimate that a lot of people around the world wants to see a lot more renewable energy coming into, uh, into play. And, and that, of course, is helping uh, wind as well. Thanks to Ditlov Engel of Vestas Wind Power for that and the best of luck. That's PRISM for the night and for the week. Remember, join us here each Sunday through Thursday. The iDesk with Hala Garani is straight ahead. I'm Jim Clancy.